Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon, welcome to another episode of Attack on Titan. This is episode number 18 and uh, last episode was brutal to say the least. Uh, it was a bloodbath, uh, a battle between Marley and Eldia, uh, a battle between Titans, you know, Shiganshina once again getting just absolutely tore to pieces. Um, this time, you know, obviously... With more conventional weapons, uh, the Titan fighting was purely restricted to Titan on Titan action rather than, you know, innocent civilians being gobbled up, uh, as we may have seen previously. But, um, you know, Eldia has been getting their asses kicked um, by Marley because, you know, again, swords against guns, it's only really going to be one winner there, um, unless you're Deadpool, in which case, you know, you're immortal for all, all intents and purposes. So, yeah. It doesn't matter what weapon you've really got. Um, we saw Levi, very, very badly hurt. Hanji was able to get him away from uh, the people who had wanted to kill him. But we did see Zeke, fully reformed, talking about this girl who, uh, you know, had been moulding his body. And, you know, again, I'm a little bit loose on the lore at this point, but I'm wondering if that could be Ymir. Um, or at least some avatar or manifestation of Ymir that's, you know, kind of helping him. In which case you have to wonder what why? What's the what's the end goal? What's what's this all about? Um Aaron's in a pretty bad place. You know, he's been trapped. Uh he's, you know, right in the middle of he, he's basically in a handicap match right now. Um, you know, he's got the uh, he's got Galliard and the armored Titan just beating down on him as it is. And uh he doesn't look like he's got much in the way of help unless uh, the recently released Armin and Mikasa decide to take up to defend him. You know, Armin suggesting that maybe this has all been a ruse uh, and that Eren's been, you know, playing everyone, which would be a big surprise for me because he's been very convincing in his kind of defiance and his uh, determination to enact this sterilization plan. Um, so, you know, if that is to be the case, very impressive deception. If not, then it's just Armin being way too hopeful, um, which is kind of, you know, it's 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 a nice idea, but, you know, it's not realistic. Um, you know, so either the Colossal Titan is going to come to his aid, or we might see the Beast Titan, um, or this the scream was being focused on at the end of the episode. So I don't know if that scream is going to do something. It's going to awaken something, or it's a call to Zeke. I don't know what's going to happen. We could well get the Beast Titan showing up. We could get other Titans... Uh, you know, showing up to help. I don't know. But I know that there's going to be a lot more bloodshed before this is over. Um, which, you know, I am I am not going to deny that I can be bloodthirsty at times. You know, especially when it's an animated show. You know, no one's actually getting hurt. So, you know, let's spill a little bit of blood and guts. Why not? You know, we've got to live out, you know, some of our, uh, you know... Um, you know, I don't want to say, I don't want to say desires, because I have no desire to rip and tear anyone, you know, unless it's like, if well, maybe if I was Doom Guy, then I could rip and tear some demons. I'm going off on a tangent here, and I don't know why. Um, but you know, you know what I mean? It's nice to live vicariously through others, and when no one's getting hurt, it's fine. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a pretty bloody episode, I would think, and um, I'm wondering when we're going to start to see some of these dominoes falling, you know, we've got how many titans there? If you count Zeke, we've got five titans. The Colossal, the Armoured, the Beast, the Attack, and uh, the Cart Titan. And Galliard, so six, technically. Yeah, they're just not all on the battlefield right now. Um, so, yeah, let's jump into it then. Let's watch episode number 18. 18, yes. <laughs> Could I take my kids out of the war zone, please? I've been calling Aranus. I don't want them to be get eaten. If Aaron's been hiding his true intentions from Yelena and the others, then why'd he push us away instead of telling us? Whatever his real plan is. It's gonna be destructive. There must be a reason. Maybe he wants them to go away? We did cross the sea. 
Anyway, Baron and I have both known about your headaches for a long time now. My guess is that everything else he said was made up, and he used one real detail to I like make that the story more believable. The new animation style. He couldn't tell the truth in that situation. Where you've got this 2D animation Once mixed in with 3D is in okay? those types of shots works really well. Okay. Why keep going? Jesus. Even now he's still he's still besting them. How did I ever believe we were the same? They gonna eat him? Let it end already. Just go to sleep. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He doesn't know how. He's gonna rip the top of his head off. Oh! Oh, shit. Is that the Beast Titan? Yes, it is. Batter up. Probably sounds weird that an Englishman saying that because it's like batter up, but I'm like batter up. English motherfucker, do you speak it? You did well to hold out for this long. Yep. Baron. Here we go. Now let your big brother take care of the rest. Oh, oh God, yeah. Airships. <laughs> okay. Yeah, those airships are fucked. How could they not foresee that? Like, you know, they must have known if the Beast Titan shows up, we are screwed. Here come the scouts, the bad scouts. Bad memories of the last time I saw him winding up, or at least the last time I remember him winding up. One scream from Zeke and it's all over. I become a monster. Yep. No turning back for you. <laughs> you're just under the authority of the Jaegerists. You're just a stupid cadet. Shut the fuck up. Stand down, cadet. Outfitting all soldiers without black armbands is priority one. As for those of you who happily partook of our enemy's wine, you'll be with me. Yeah. We're going to drive the invaders of Paradise. No point in wasting ODM gear on those who can be turned into a Titan. She sees that as a reminder of what could be in her blood. She's doing it to prove that she's in control of her own actions. Even though a scarf is just a scarf and it doesn't make a shit ton of difference. But it's about the, the mental insinuation. Well... I would say that the rebuilding of Shiganshina district is going to take a little bit of extra work. They blocked it. Zeke's destroyed Marley's aerial fleet. History is about to be written. I think she's about to be disappointed. We're about to find out what the real game plan is. Oh, uh, well, he's not giving up. God damn, he's a good shot. So, uh, from what I can see, Aaron's doing just fine. <laughs> what the hell? They get up there and they're like, oh, well, no, Zeke got here first. Captain Levi wouldn't have released him for anything. The sad fact is that we're out of options. We have to help the Jaegerists unite them. <laughs> oh my god, that face. <laughs> 
she looks like a titan in human form. That was that was truly disturbing. Of all the things I've seen in the show, that shot was kind of yeah, freaky. It looks like the whole city's in flames. We've got nowhere to run. What are you getting at? We're here to fight. Oh, there's Falco. Someone spotted us. It's my brother. I see. All right, prisoner. You're coming with me. He's gonna go and deliver him. I'm gonna leave him tied up in one of these houses. Try to do it quickly. We'll leave soon. Yeah. I just hope he doesn't get shot doing it, you know? This is no place for a child. Try to get home if you can. Yep. He's a good guy. That means he's probably gonna die. For this, Mr. Nile. They've moved on. Gabby. What made you trust that enemy soldier? Fast Trusting an Eldian? See, even now she's still seeing the kindness of the Eldian devils. Hey, wait. Oh, and then, yeah, of course. It's like one step forward, two steps back. But that might also have the effect of making her see how her actions have affected the Eldians. There were never any devils on this island. Nope. Just people. Yep. People there we go. Like Finally, we have that breakthrough. I finally get how Raya feels. Oh, I see. And also, I'm in love with you. <gasps> The truth of it is, I only became okay. a for one reason, to keep the armor from you. I wanted us to get married. I wanted you and me to be happy together. That won't stop him from becoming a titan. Let's go. Can you imagine, after all this? You, so we should let him know you drank his spinal fluid. Think that might convince him not to use his scream. Um, I don't think so. I don't think for one kid... He's not going to scream. A few more steps and we'll have made our dream come true. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. What's that? Hello, okay. Titan. So that's where my dear little peak let her end. Yeah! We got the car, Titan! Oh, wait, is she dead or is she just... We managed to catch up to you guys. Who finished her off? Huh? No. No, she just... Yeah, she's in human form. Oh, God. Ooh, fuck. I mean, it wasn't quite a kill shot, but it did its damage. That's going to be a big impact. It was close to the nape. Could that have done it? This angle's no good. Get no. closer. Hurry up! Get a move on! If he's got so much as an ounce of life left. He does. Oh everyone's converging on that one point. Okay, so again, teasing us. Teasing us always at the end of these episodes. Um yeah, they had an especially long um reintroduction at the beginning of this episode to you know the scene in the cells and uh i felt like i could have gone and made myself another cup of tea at that point it was like a minute and a half where uh, they were just going through the same scene from the last episode where they were arguing over whether erin was being deceitful or not um i've got to say after this episode i'm more convinced because they're definitely building up as if to say oh this is a very tense slow move towards the beast titan if they get together and they you know enact their plan it's going to be the end and i i actually think now the way that they're building this up and the way that you know obviously everyone is expecting Eren to go ahead with with whatever the plan is um is evidence that he's going to do something we don't expect and I wonder if he's maybe going to... Is he maybe going to eat Zeke? And take the Beast Titan power? I don't... I don't know. 
don't know. It does make me. It does make me wonder if Eren was to take every single power and then die. Would that wipe out Titans completely? With the exception of the you know the 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 minor Titans that have already been turned, you know, and the Titans in the wall. But I mean, they they could never be awakened. You wouldn't have any of these power Titans anymore. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's trying. Maybe he's going to try and do something to stop, you know, um, the Titans. Maybe he can use his power with Zeke to stop the Titans in another way that we just don't know about. I don't know. But this was definitely like a comeback episode. Um, you know, it felt like the, first, the last episode was very much about Marley coming in, just destroying the Eldian forces. And this felt like a bit of a comeback. You know, the airships got destroyed. The Beast Titan showed up. Um, you know, Falco and Gabby are reunited. Um, and, you know, everyone's now converging on this one spot. And that's bad news because all it's going to take is one explosion to kill a number of characters. Um... And of course, we've got Armin as well. You know, I'm sat there thinking, when's Armin going to transform into the Colossal Titan? I know that, you know, he can't do it in the presence of, um, you know, his friends. So they do have to be clear. So he's not going to do it whilst they're nearby. But it does make me wonder, like, that is one of the the aces that they've got in their back pocket if they need it. But um, it is, it's one of those where they're kind of teasing what could happen next. And I'm more convinced now than ever that... Eren is not wanting to work with Zeke. Um, it's a classic kind of build up to a betrayal moment, another betrayal, but this time a good betrayal maybe. And um, you know, because Zeke is now kind of you assume that he's going to be disabled for a little bit with that artillery shot, and that's going to give Eren the chance. But Reiner, you know, being right on his tail, makes me wonder if he's going to somehow screw things up you just you just don't know it could well be that reiner inadvertently stops Aaron from enacting a plan that could help um uh, but i definitely think Aaron has his own motivations here so um yeah there's a, there's a lot going on a lot going on right now and um it is all going to culminate in i think the next episode and then we'll have to deal with the aftermath i i i do think that maybe the marlian forces are going to lose here it certainly seems like the tide has changed. You know, without the airships, um, they're now, they don't have any air support. They're now stuck on the ground. Um, and you've got, you know, obviously all of the scouts and those who were trapped in the cells backing up, you know, um, the Eldian forces with firearms as well, which is uh, is good to see. Um, but all it's going to take is one scream. From from Zeke and, and I, I do like the idea that you know Pixis is smart. He doesn't want any of the potential Titans to have the ODM gear because that's going to be a waste of equipment. Um, and you don't want you know say a squad that has one person who could be a Titan get transformed and just take out that entire squad just from one scream. So yeah, some some very good tactical planning there. Um, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I do hope he doesn't scream because then that'd be <laughs> that'd be really tragic for Falco. Um, it'd be terrible to see Pixis transformed, and there's no way back for you know for for those for those Titans once they're gone. So yeah, we'll see. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you for the next one.